Hey everybody, this is Robert from Kapoin. We are a free online content creation tool that works right inside your browser. And what is going on up there? There's another one over there. Oh, I see. These are those progress bars that I've seen on videos on Instagram. It's like a loading bar that shows you how much time until the video's over. But how, how do they make these? Well, it's actually as simple as two clicks, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. This is how to make a progress bar and add it to any video for social media. Let's go over to the Kapoink Studio and see how it's done. Welcome to the studio. So we're here on a teaser video I made for social media, and I'm going to add a progress bar because that's the only thing this video needs before it's ready to post. So I said before, two clicks, and I'm sticking to that promise. So when you're in the studio here, you'll go up to the shapes button in Kapwing and you'll click shapes. Next, you'll see this button right down here below our shapes on the right panel that just says add a progress bar. So I click that and like I said, and today we're gonna talk about how to use Kapwing to make, there's that progress bar. So by default, we're just gonna drop a white progress bar at the bottom of your video but there are a lot of styles you can uh, add here to customize it to your liking. So here for this video, I was kind of using a red and um, white sort of uh, color scheme. So I think I'm gonna stick with something similar to that. So I'm gonna actually move my progress bar up here. So it's just at the top of the video. And I think I will change it to a shade of red maybe. So it's a little bit of a different shade from uh, my panel here so that it doesn't totally blend in. Now I have a few styles I can choose from. There's the gradient one, which is pretty cool. Here, I'll mute the video so you can see what that looks like. And then as the progress bar goes, the gradient gets darker and darker and darker. Now there's several other styles. There's the glowing style that adds kind of a glow effect around it. And even the background style that uh, provides an outline so that you can see just how long the bar is gonna be. So. There's actually a lot you can do with these uh, custom progress bars. You can change the size. I can make it the whole size of the video if I want. Um, you know, not sure I'd want that, but there's some cool kind of aesthetic things you can do with these progress bars once you start playing with them a bit. Uh, another thing I think is pretty cool is I can even rotate it here and have it load diagonally across the video as it progresses. So, you know, generally I wouldn't want to cover up uh, myself in a video, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with these progress bars. And something else that I really love here, I'll put this one back for a moment, is that you can add multiple progress bars as you go. So if I click shapes and I just click add a progress bar, I can then add a second one. So say I want one that sits up here that's red and then another one that sits down here that's blue, those are gonna load at the exact same time together. So something else that's cool about these bars is you can even make them shorter. If I just want to make my progress bar like, you know, right in the you know center there and have it only load there and not take up the whole length of the screen, I can do that. So really pretty infinite customization options when it comes to these progress bars. And uh, as soon as you're ready, like any other video on Kapwing, you're just going to click publish and you will get a final video with your progress bar. So I think for this one today, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to stick with the red up top here but lots of customization options when it comes to this progress bar. So again, those live under the shapes tab here and uh, you can add as many as you want to a video, go crazy with it. So this is a new feature that we just added to Kapwing and I'm super excited to share it with you all. Please, uh, if you found this video useful, just two clicks, I'm not sure you'll find many other tutorials that can give it to you in two clicks. Uh, drop us a like down below, subscribe to the channel. We're making new tutorials all the time and every time we release a new feature, we do a tutorial on it just like this one. So this has been Robert from Kapwing with how to add a progress bar to your video. Check back soon for much more.